Hi, my name is Paul and I'm from the research department from AT Racing Fuels. Here at AT we strive to produce the best quality fuels for the hobby industry. Today we are running a Thunder Tiger 46 engine on, a sh on the world's first ever RC engine dyno. This is guaranteed to be 100% accurate. The dyno itself consists of various parts that measure accurately the engine's EGTs, RPMs and horsepower readings. The console itself controls the engine's actual operations. We have the ignition, the starter motor, also the starter motor is also controlled by this switch here. Air pressure can control the starter motor and all the other various parts of this program. This is the software itself. While the engine is being run, our software monitors carefully what's happening during the run. Over here we have the torque, up top, horsepower, RPM, the brake specifics and air fuel ratio. We also have the engine temperature and the exhaust gas temperature. The run itself can be controlled by these three options here. These three options here allow us to automatically bring on the load, hold the load or manually bring on the load. Up here itself is the actual box that controls the load. This knob here manually controls the load or if you simply want to automatically bring on the load, it's just the flick of the button. Today I'm showing you a couple of the basics of our dyno. Here we've got Thunder Tiger 46 on here, our automatic accelerator, our EGTs, which is our exhaust gas temperature, our RPM monitor, which is located down there, our absorber, which controls all load put onto the engine at any one time, our fuel tank, our starter motor, which can be controlled automatically from the console outside. Basically, this is a controlled environment. Temperature stays constant at any one time, which gives us the most accurate reading possible. Okay, here we actually have the operation of the dyno. First, I'll flick the starter motor, get it running, get some spark capping to it. This process here will just let the Thunder Tiger warm itself up to get optimum performance out of it. The air pressure will automatically kick on when the temperature rises to a certain level. As you can see now, as it's re reached a certain degree temperature in the room, the fan has turned automatically on. Now, we'll give it its first thing run. There we have our first little ride.